third gear right now, by the way. So let's see what happens when I say, maybe put my foot down just a little bit. Don't burn me down. everybody it's your boy the slab train and welcome back guys to some more forza horizon 2 now in today's episode we are going to be taking a look at one of the g-shock dlc cars now this was a truck um that i used a little bit and i kind of i kind of made some points about the truck in the video a lot of people were kind of on the fence about it some disagreed some agreed and that is going to be the 1975 ford bronco now this is a completely stock truck at the moment with 205 horsepower and 300 foot pounds of torque. Now I did mention a little bit about the torque to horsepower ratio is that the torque was actually higher than the horsepower, meaning that it must have been some type of off-road vehicle or you know something like that. Now going to the comments from last episode for a few here right now, uh, Bayu Two Five O Kid says the early Broncos had 205 horsepower in them because that the 302 Windsor had a two-barrel carb and was made to the late 60s. It was made for work and torque since it was a truck motor, not a high-output Mustang motor. The early Broncos are an iconic Bronco, and what are most people think of when they hear Broncos? The damn 351M and the 400M in the second-gen Broncos had damn near if not less horsepower than the 302 Windsor did. I have a 66 Bronco 302 standard 3-speed and would never get rid of it. Like I said in the other episode, I have nothing against the first-gen Broncos. I absolutely love them. As a standpoint, I would have loved to see them either bring in both Broncos or the second-gen as well, too. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm just, I don't know what it is about the second-gen Bronco. I just, I like the styling a little bit more. Um, but again, that's just my personal opinion. The interior looks damn well beautiful, though. Have a look at that. Two high, four low, neutral, and four high, man. That is some nice detail in this truck. Now, <laughs> one, two, three, Bosniak says, fun fact, this was the same SUV OJ Simpson used to get away from the cops. And unfortunately... <laughs> Um, I can't confirm whether or not he's right or not on the year, so if you guys want to let me know in the comments below, you guys can go ahead and do so. Now, we're going to be getting into this, and we're going to be doing a nice drift build on this truck. Um, I'm, I'm pretty excited because of the fact that I'm really pumped to see what I can throw in here in terms of motor swaps and uh, get some serious horsepower readings out of this thing. So, all that we have is the damn V8 5.8 swap. I mean... I'm not mad about that, man. 405, sorry, 457 horsepower boost on this. And we have now 631 foot-pounds of torque. A nice even power band, if I do say so myself. Um, now, with this, we are going to bring this to a rear-wheel drive swap. And that is going to just make all the difference in this. Um, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking right now what I want to do. I'm thinking if I should do a stock motor build... Or a twin turbo motor build and you know what we're gonna do one with a built and non-built motor for the first time on these drifting builds something a little bit different um, something to kind of please everybody and use a couple different tire or sorry not tires but a couple different motors as well too to get a feel for the truck on all turns you know different motors this and that now going back to the comments as well too from last episode and if you guys have any questions regarding you know anything whether it be the channel the game if you guys want me to answer something next episode all you guys need to do is put in hashtag slap chat into the comment section below and i will have a look at them and hopefully read them for the next coming episodes now as i said in the comments below freddie dangler um writes in saying slap you said you felt getting ripped off from the car pack try being a 360 user because we have like 15 less cars than the one users like i don't think i'm ever buying a mother forza game unless i have a next gen system um i can feel your pain my dude i would be very upset um if i ended up getting and we're not doing rally transmission for the fifth time in a row on these builds i keep seeing in the comments slap you use rally gears slap you use rally gears man you know how many times i just wanted to just slap myself in the face for using rally gears all the time like, what god damn man we're not doing that for the fifth time i'll tell you that right now we're gonna do it right this time 
Now, what we are going to do, though, is, um, I'm thinking, ooh, look at the hops we got, though. Okay. Uh. Is it the same? Oh, my God, it is, too. It's the same as the stock suspension in terms of ride height. That is interesting. We got hops, though. Look at us. Oh, that's about nothing off the ground. Okay. We're doing racing suspension on this puppy right here. And also, too, um, the gentleman that spoke about him having his Bronco, I would love to see that damn Bronco, man. If you wanted to tweet me that, some photos on my Twitter, um, hashtag, or sorry, yeah, at slap underscore train, send those in. I would love to see that damn Bronco, man. What's with this roll cage, though? You see that in the back? I can't even look up to have a look at that, so we're just not even going to worry about it. Um, we are going to take the complete weight out of this thing, bringing it down to 2,700 pounds. Very very light now as i said um i wanted to run this with the stock motor stock internals really just try to you know get a feel for the truck um as it sits with the modifications that we have because we already have 662 horsepower sitting in this truck so we have quite a bit um so we're gonna go out and we're gonna test drive this as she stands right now but before we do that we need to change up this paint um i'm thinking about maybe doing um what should i do for the paint on this thing i don't even know man Ew. Look at that orange. I mean, it looks nice and all, but god damn. Could do a nice white. Now, I'd like to know what happened to the damn the white back on that, though, man. I can't even... As soon as I do anything, the entire truck changes completely. I do not know why that has been... I don't know why that's doing that. That's a good damn question, but unfortunately, we can't change that. So, we're just going to have to leave that as it sits... Um, we're going to just change up the rims, and that's about it. So we're using the same paint. Ladies and gentlemen, I do apologize, but I ain't getting rid of that damn white back top, man. That is just too damn sick, and we're leaving it right now, man. Okay, we're going to get out of here, and let's get on the damn track with this thing. Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready to rip this damn Bronco right now? Stock motor right now. This V8 is going to be ripping. Now we are online right here and it is raining at the moment. Look at our damn window wipers just going. Oh shit. I was not expecting that thing to have that much damn. Oh, excuse me, my dude. I'm coming back. I'm coming back. We spun out. I gotta say, this truck feels incredible with the damn wheel spin. Now, obviously, this is in huge damn amount of rain right now. But it doesn't matter though. The fact that we are getting that much wheel spin and you know able to kind of control it in some sense is a whole nother story. She's quick though, man. I was not expecting this damn Bronco to be that damn quick. I really was not, I'm gonna be honest with you. So going back to the comments for one final time for today's episode. Mud Maniac 80, sorry, 95 says, I personally would like to see more of the Bronco. Hands down, my favorite vehicle in the game. I personally have the fifth generation 1992 to 62 full size Bronco. These trucks are hands down the best all around vehicles and damn near unstoppable. Looking forward to seeing more Bronco videos. Thanks, Sly Man. No problem, I do, but you have to pay for the damages on my front bumper, though. You know what I'm saying? I was looking over at my damn on my comments for that one but no i would love to see your damn bronco my dude and it sounds very nice if you do want send me a tweet at slap underscore train to send me in your damn bronco because that thing it sounds beautiful i mean like i said i'm a fan of broncos do not get me wrong and you know i looked back at that video the other day and i was like damn man i was pretty harsh on this bronco and i gotta say i mean yeah it's nice it's just the only thing like i said i was expecting the second gen and that's the only thing. That's really it. I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with the first gen at all. Because like you guys were saying in the comments, you know, this is what everybody thinks of when you say Bronco. Now, you know, maybe for not as many people, but for the majority, most part, though. Now, in terms of uh, stability, though, we have not a lot of it. Um, oh, my God. As you guys can see, I am all over the damn road right now and that is not a good thing so what we're gonna do we're gonna try and harness this damn car right now we're going right into the wall here we go ready all right we're gonna put our damage back on now that we've done some damage 
and we're actually going to tune this car. So, with that being said, we're going to bring down our tire pressure. We have just, we have a huge amount of body roll in this thing as well too. Uh, I mean, gearing is good. I'm not too worried about the gearing. We're going to need some serious camber on this thing though because we really got to just steady this truck out and let it hold its own. Um, caster, we're just going to max it out. Not really too worried about all that. Roll bars, though, we are going to stiffen this up. Like I said, I want this to be a little bit more predictable. Um, right now, it's just kind of pulling its own way and just kind of taking me for the ride as I'm doing it. So we're going to try and make it a little bit easier to take control of. We're going to lock this differential. I don't know if it's going to help us or if it's going to hinder us. So let's find out, man. Well, the rain has stopped, which is good. And already, I'm feeling good about this Bronco. Try and mod this through here. Oh, no, never mind. I thought I was going to, but no way. Right, I'm going to go up here. I'm going to take a little bit of the inner city of Nice. We're just on the outskirts way too much right now. <laughs> Damn, man, that wheel on the back got it. That wheel is doing some damage right now against everybody. It's a big damn bitch, though. You have arrived at your destination. Oh! I don't think I've ever been this unstable with a truck before, and I mean, this is this is one hell of a damn truck. Definitely seeing this thing in my garage for quite some time. And I think this may have moved up to the- oh, shit! No! We're alright, we're alright. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Tires are hooking up. Feels very planted. Especially if I need to just try to recover it really quickly, just like that. We're back, you know what I'm saying? So, I think we've nailed this too with this stock motor. And I think now it's time to really have some fun with this damn Bronco. All right, so in terms of aspiration, we're definitely going to put the twin turbos in like I spoke about earlier. Um, I definitely want to be able to see what this thing is capable of in terms of horsepower. And I got a feeling this is going to be one badass car. Now, we're just going to completely max it out. I want to see what this thing is capable of getting up to. And right off the bat, I mean, look at this. Almost 900 horsepower. Unbelievable. This may find its way into our 1,000 horsepower category right here. And I mean, it's just inching right here. 925 oh my god now next episode of forza horizon 2 will be our skills challenge now i know i've spoke about the last episode of our skills challenge that i wanted to use one of the new cars from the pack i didn't say which one i said i was going to pick one um, i'm going to tell you guys right now the next car that we are going to be doing for that pack of our skills challenge will be the subaru brat um, so make your tunes up while you can ladies and gentlemen because I will be doing that very soon We just broke 1,000 horsepower in this 1975 Ford Bronco man unbelievable 1033 and then to finish this off 1041 horsepower. I don't even think I'm ready for this amount of power man over 1,000 damn ponies underneath the hood of this thing we are ready to start spinning some rubber. We're in third gear right now, by the way. So let's see what happens when I say, maybe put my foot down just a little bit. Oh my God, this thing is mean right now. It really is. I don't know if she'll spin in fourth, but let's find out though. Oh, didn't spin, but definitely did get a little bit sideways once we started to uh, hit a corner so let's fly it out this truck and let's make some runs man I want to see what this thing can do here we go high speed baby oh, 
shit! No good, no good, no good on that high speed. Oh my god. This thing's crazy, man. We're stuck! Oh my god, dude! How do I pull this off? Just killing it with this thing, man. Like I said, this truck is absolutely beautiful. So this truck, I, I, I can't put my finger on it, man. This thing is, it's very tough to get perfect. Um, e I mean, even with the horsepower and the tune that we have on this thing, there's just something about this that isn't perfect. You know, it's not 100% done yet. So we may have to revisit this truck at some point in time. Oh my god, man. This thing is a lot of damn truck to handle, though. It really is. It's a lot of SUV, whatever you want to call this thing. It's a lot, man. Oh, what's with the leg? Thankfully, we had the horsepower to dig ourselves out of that. So overall, though, my thoughts on this uh, actual Bronco with the motor swap is amazing. You know, I've never felt a car yet that will just shred rubber like this Bronco is. And yes, we've made, you know, other 1,000 horsepower tunes, but I don't think that I've had as much fun. And, you know, a truck that's unpredictable just makes it that much more entertaining to drive. You know, it makes it that much more fun to get in there and, you know, start going sideways because you never really know what's going to happen. And I feel like, you know, every corner that we make with this Bronco, we are going right off the damn cliff with this thing because I really don't know what to expect. I don't know if we're going to hook up. Oh, shit. I just don't know. Now, I would like to try some rally suspension on this and maybe some rally tires, but again, that'll be for another video. Oh, we're coming through with some speed right now, though. Ooh. Let's rip around this damn land yacht area, though. Right, here we go. We're going to throw this in. Ah, oh, she gripped. That's what I told you, man. I told you about that shit. Woo! Curb got me on that. But I mean, like I said, I'd love to know your thoughts on this. Let me know if you guys have built one. And if so, what are your thoughts on the build on your two? Let me know what you guys did in terms of horsepower. But this is a very erratic truck, man. SUV, whatever you want to call it. Um, this thing puts out a lot of power. And it's very unpredictable, like I said. And I think that's, that's where the fun factor comes. Because you're not really too sure if you're going to make the corner or if you're not going to make the corner. I mean, it's really kind of up in the air with this thing you got the beautiful bronco ranger on the back just staring at you the whole time to let you know that this thing could kick you off at any damn time i hope you guys enjoyed this episode of forza horizon 2 of our drift build of our ford bronco if you guys want to see more builds from the g-shock car pack please let me know in the comment section below as well too guys you can go ahead and slap that damn like button if you guys want to see more and if you guys are new to the channel subscribe man why don't you it's free to do you can do that you can stay in touch with me on facebook instagram and twitter all of which are found in the description box down below ladies and gentlemen the ford bronco over 1000 horsepower jabota slap train i'm out peace Ooh, baby don't bring me down